What is up, YouTube? Reckless here. And I'm Great One. Alright, what are we talking about today? That was good timing. It was. Um, first, I think we need to mention the elephant in the room, which you haven't mentioned all week long. What is that? I got knocked the fuck out. Oh, yeah, out. that's right. <laughs> and some stuff and, happened and, in that last video. Nothing happened. And uh, yeah, I, I kind of just put it in the corner of my mind a little bit. I, I try and forget about Are it. Are you afraid of him? No. Are you I afraid just, of him? I, I like my peace. I mind. am. I'm afraid. No, I, no, I, I, I no, I, I wasn't if afraid I were of you, anything. dude. I would probably watch your back. I, I doesn't afraid of anything. If he came after me, there's a good chance that at some point he could come after you. Um, no, because uh, I'm awesome. Yeah, that's why. He seems to disagree. No, he. Likes Either way, opinions. um, no, no, he said, actually specifically said he does no, not. Definitely like said he likes my opinions and that he wants my autograph. And that okay, let's just stop talking about him. We should be good this week. I had um, Did you I had an exorcist to come to the house. I had, no, I had an exorcist come to the house. I, ha I I've taken every single necessary necessary precaution. <laughs> necessary <I have> blood <laughs> in a glass. Yes, necessary. I have Jesus' blood in a glass right next to me, and I'm drinking it. That's not weird at all. I'm good. I'm all right. good. All right. I, I but on to the task at hand. So, our fan has had a couple of uh, videos that he has actually made himself. His former channel, Devil Rules, and his new channel, Gamers Corner Entertainment. We will be providing a link below in the description if you guys would like to check them out. They do some good stuff, some very high quality videos, and have actually helped us out a lot in the process of us evolving as a YouTube channel. Um, Reckless, I'll let you explain what we'll be doing here today. Alright, so, little Dibbler here sent us to one of his videos. He showed us his top 10 Dragon Ball characters list, and we have a lot of back and forth Dragon Ball uh, discussions. We have conflicting opinions often with, um, with just the ways that we are and the things that we like. So, so after seeing his list, <laughs> after seeing his list, uh, we decided we should make one of our own. Uh, we apologize ahead of time if our lists are fairly similar. Sometimes we like the same things. We did not... Actually, I don't know his list. I don't... Wait, wait. No, I do know I, your list. You don't know mine. That's what it is. Yeah. So we're just no going to see how this, where this goes. Uh, do you want to start first? For your number five. Um, why do I have to go first? Because I said so. All right, well, your list is probably better than mine anyhow. Of course, um, of course it is. In your opinion, I mean, mine's better than my I opinion. Mean, no, yes, no, but no, um, no. my number five is actually Tien Shinhan. I think it's the last name. I didn't even write it down. You can just call him Tien. <laughs> yeah, Tien. Anyhow, he uh, he's a very unique character. He's one of the only humans in the Dragon Ball series that is constantly training no matter what. He just wants to better himself, and I absolutely love that about him. Uh, I like him as a character too. I love his, his dub voice actor. Uh, I have nothing really notable, notable to say about the sub voice actor. It just sounds like a typical sub. Um, but his, his dub voice actor definitely stands out for me. He hasn't mm. had enough highlights in the show for me to put him on my list, but he's maybe if there was like a top fifteen, he'd make it. I, I do like him more than the rest of the human Z fighters. My number five is one of the, one of the people that you guessed that would make it to my list. Cooler. I really like Cooler. The movie Surprise was great. So low. The movie that with with. They had uh, Bruce Faulkner's music in there. They had Disturbed, Drowning Pool. They had Deftones. Did you see that movie? Or did you yes. see it with like the... Yes, I did. It was one of my favorite. It's definitely one uh, of my favorite Which one, movies. actually? It's the better first, question. Which one? one? Good. <laughs> but the first one is the one that's... Yes, noted. they really were. Um, I loved his transformation. Let me shut my dog up because she's in the background making I wasn't a noises. huge fan of Metal Cooler in comparison to... 
uh, final form cooler. But I did like Cooler as a character. I liked his voice actor. I liked the music. They oh, had his dumb all voice actor Bruce Rocker does fantastic. an awesome job. He oh, was great, great, and he had a perfect voice for a Frieza character. I wish Frieza's would have been more similar to his, but at the same time, they do try to keep it as close to the sub, I guess, as they can a lot of times. I like, at least have it kind of similar. would have been happy if they made him canon. I love him in every single video game. I play him often. Whenever I would I'm have rather heroes. They've done that. Yes. Who's your number four? Definitely. Anyhow, um, my number four is a fan favorite and probably one of the most popular characters in Dragon Ball Z, and in my opinion, one of the most honorable characters in the show, Piccolo. That rhymed. Okay, I can, I can see I can see that. I can see that. I didn't see the rhyme, but I, I saw the time. In the show, Piccolo. Yo. <laughs> Alright, guys. That was a music special by Brett. <laughs> Anyhow, um... Brought to you by... He... Great one. Our sponsor. Go. <laughs> Um, anyhow, guys, uh, let's continue this. I'm going to tell you why he's my number four. He is actually so low on my list only because of the recent dub of Dragon Ball Super where he just sacrificed himself for Gohan. And in the original Dragon Ball Z where he sacrificed himself for Gohan. There's often the joke that Piccolo's a better father to Gohan than, than Goku himself. It's hilarious. <laughs> TFS makes fun of it all the time. I do like Piccolo. But I just don't think he's in my top. I just don't think he's in my top ten in the video games. I often don't ever really play him or anything. I don't. I can understand why he's not, he's he's not a, a character fan I fan ever fan. play as a character. But he's one of my favorite characters just because of his. He also is a dedicated trainer. He's constantly trying to better he's himself cool. as well, which is something I always look for. He's definitely he's just cool. like TM. And, he, and he, he doesn't have the warrior instinct that a Saiyan does, but yet he still betters himself to protect the world. And I would like to see him get And a even buff, though he was the first buff, to take it over. I feel like they're just not going to. I would love that. I would love that. Like and he would maybe have made it higher on this list if he would have had that buff at some point, or even if I knew it was coming. Alright, so my number four. And I, I hate to see him this low on the list, because this was a badass character. And you haven't gotten to see it yet, but it's none other than Goku Black himself. This character was easily the most savage villain out of them all. When you see the arc for yourself, uh, it's fantastic. For any of you that don't know, Great One does not watch subs. He only He's a dub watcher, and they are not at that arc yet. But the dude accomplishes so much by himself. Within the next three years, we'll be there. And he, there, I mean, he does have an ally, but for the most part, this dude like delivers on his promise to do what he set out to do. He's he's technically been much more destructive than any other villain we've had in the show. I love the art for him. I love the concept to him. The, the, haven't heard the dub voice actor yet, but I'm hoping that's going to be good so far. There's a lot of concerns with that, seeing what Xenoverse kind of did. And we'll see where it goes. But, but I have noticed a noticeable difference in voices from Xenoverse to Super. Yeah, as I'm well. really not, hoping they not super. Kind of figure that out. Like, it's not a definite thing, but I'm hoping that it is better. I, I'm optimistic that it will be. All right, number three. Go. Um, my number three is actually Beardick, or Bardock. No, wait, what? Goku's father. He's not canon. It's Beardick a fusion of Beerus and Bardock? Yes. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> um, he... Is badass. I really wish that we knew more about him. I wish I wouldn't mind if they made him or brought him into the series somehow in Super. I think that would be amazing. He, Bardock is somebody whom I've always wanted to see meet up with Goku and actually battle with him side by side or even against him at some point if he could be str become strong enough to do that. I think that would be awesome. Uh, I believe he's one of the few movie characters that's actually been made canon. He, he is canon, officially. Yes, he um, is. Though, I'm not yes. sure if the movies themselves are. But he's a thing, and I, I love that the games gave him Super Saiyan. I love the episode of Bardock where he achieved Super Saiyan, because that was always something that I wanted to see. 
Um, I always felt like saying three with tiebreaker. Well, I was gonna get to that, but I always figured that his headband would just make for. I don't know. I just felt like it really, really would have went well with Super Saiyan hair, and it did. <laughs> it, I don't know. Bardock's <laughs> awesome. He's my mentor in Xenoverse. I haven't taken he really off is. since. I always loved his uh, his, his ultimates, his attacks, and everything. The, the movie uh, with Bardock in it was great. I even loved the move, the cooler movie mm -hmm. with Bardock in the very beginning, where they went back to that, where he threw the thing, and Cooler yes. was like, "Well, just, just let Frieza deal with his own issues or whatever." Uh, Bardock is just badass. So, definitely, I love the way they tie him into shit. I love, I, I love it, everything about him. I love his story. I love his place in the story. But I'd like to. I wouldn't mind somehow. I would, I would like him to. He was a time breaker. He he might have survived. He might have survived. Xenoverse has tributed by him chance did. quite a bit, and I really appreciate that. And he's a fantastic I character to kind of alter the history of because. There's so much that you could do with him if you just say, oh, well, this happened, and then this happened, and this is where this went. It's perfect. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, exactly. though, moving on. My number three, Vegeta. He made it high on this Vegeta. list because of Dragon Ball Super. He has had so much I character development through Dragon Ball Super that he's so mellowed out now. He's not always just super frustrated, loud, and... He's a little bit less of a punching bag than he used to be, but he's, his character has come a long way. And I don't know when it clicked with me because he was never, he was one of my favorites, but he was never like a top five character for me until Super happened. And I think it was with the revival of Frieza arc where I realized Vegeta is an entirely new person now. He's He's not even like completely angry at Goku for everything anymore. He just says, I need this clown to get stronger so that I have incentive to get stronger myself. And that new motive for him is, is, is great. I, I, I like his new outlook on things. He realizes he needs Goku to get stronger because that's what pushes him himself. Number two, yes. go. Unless you have something to say about Vegeta. Uh, I did. I really did. Because oh, yeah, he's that's right. one of my favorite characters as well. And, and he probably would have made this list. But I've heard things about him in Super that I don't like as much as I did in Z. I liked how much of an asshole he was. I liked the fact that he was self-motivated before. And he, I mean, he still is self-motivated. I'm not taking anything away from Vegeta. I just think from what I heard, he is too soft now. Not to say he's still not he's more mellow, hardcore but I don't than think Goku. He's still, I don't think he's soft. But he's more of a... I think if it came down to it, at the end of the day, he would choose to team up with Goku, save the world, rather than instead of having a one-on-one -on -one fight, like he would have back against Boo. And I don't know for certain. I don't, I'm not at that point. But that's just the, the way... From what I've heard, that's... They've kind of switched rules a little, little where Goku unintentionally has to say in pride, and Vegeta is kind of losing the say in pride. And no, 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 no. The show's Vegeta's about still got the say in for the most part. He, I mean. Vegeta, he's, he's I, I still Vegeta. He's just mellowed out. I know he's never gonna lose it. I know he's never gonna lose it. But I feel like the say in pride is second to his family now, which is the way it I should would say be. Vegeta's just less bitchy. That's no. all, really. Okay. He's well, just less I've heard different, but... I've heard different, but I will take your word for it, because I haven't watched it. Anyhow, my number two is a very weird pick. Very few people are going to agree with this. There, I might even get comments from random people, instead of just our fan, saying, What the fuck is this pick about? Why would you pick this character? And... I picked Master Roshi as my number two. Because I can I can understand that of one reason. Because of one reason, and that is not Dragon Ball Super, not Dragon Ball Z, Dragon but Ball, but the original Dragon Ball. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, like, he I, I, I feel like a lot of people might was badass as shit. Understand what you're talking about there? Yeah, he and he's not only not not only badass then, but he comes in the Freezer arc fucking 50 years later. And Dragon Ball Super, 
and he beats shit out of all those little minion guys. He's, he, he does whatever it takes. He, I mean, he doesn't really keep up on his training as Master he should, Rishi but he's, uh, he does a little, obviously. He's indeed a champion. But he, he did fight. He Frieza's is army. like 500 years old. And they've made him run. I don't know how old he is exactly. Current sub arc. And, well, maybe not. That's relevant, awesome. But he's 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 in combat. And yeah, that that that, that dude's yep. definitely a champion. And a lot of Dragon Ball fans. Will probably be surprised that you actually included him in there, and they might even appreciate it. We'll see. Um, I hope so. I mean, I thought he was a very unique pick, and that's one of the reasons why I put him so high on my list. Yeah, I wouldn't have expected you to plus, put him in there. When you said that, I was like, oh yeah, yeah. I I really liked him. I always have liked him, and he, he every time he's in he's in the show at some point he'll make me laugh. I also love that about him. So he kind of has every dynamic. At one point, he was a mentor's badass who beat the shit out of Goku for a little while. Oh, he still turns and huge then, and nah. he still fucks shit up sometimes. It's funny. Yeah, exactly. I know, but I mean, he's not really, you know, I mean. <laughs> Come on. We're talking about guys here. <laughs> I love the guy, but there's nothing, there's nothing he can do. Yeah, mine he's not a fighting you. character. He's a non-combative character now. But your number two is irrelevant. What? My number two is Bardock. But I'll save us some time and just quickly go over this one because we already Thank you. already talked about it. Because um, you already fucking talked he's just about one it. Best, one of the badass, one of the most badass Saiyans that they had in the show to me. And they even said that he was getting so strong. He was. They were worried that he might have even gotten stronger than King Vegeta himself. He was always going to the brink of death, and that was just, he was just reckless. And that, you know, synergizes with me. But I love I that am. never give up attitude that he had, yes. and that's all I forgot to mention. And and so, to me, I, I think it's time for our right honorable now. mentions, is it not? Alright, so I'll just go through my four, then you can go through your four, or however many you have. I have four. I only have like two. Mentions. Broly? He was one of the first, like, <laughs> villainous Sans that was just pure evil, but he was the first villain Super Saiyan, and and when that when that news came out, it was like, oh shit, this is real. Uh, Cell, Cell's voice Not actor, that, but dumb, legendary Super Saiyan. Cell's attitude Wait, towards everything. Cell was even partially <laughs> like honorable, uh, offering the tournament instead of just. Um, I, I'm going to save us some time here as well. Uh, actually, no, you, you just continue. Okay. I'm going to save us some time uh, here in the future. So, so, so we're not really uh, arguably one of the best Dragon Ball Z arcs. Uh, just everything about Cell was either funny, honorable, uh, or just badass. It was awesome. Perfect Cell. I don't care about the first forms. They're not, they're whatever. But Perfect Cell was, was amazing. Uh, Hit. You haven't seen the uh, super arc yet for Hit, but I feel like he was... He included a lot of martial arts techniques. In he his, sounds like a badass, uh, yes, and from yes. what I saw in Xenoverse, he seems pretty cool. He's pretty awesome. Uh, I I wonder if this current arc will really do anything big with him, but they, he's been a very prominent character after his arc. And then finally, we have Janimba. I personally really like Janimba because his design is, is really unique. I don't know what he is, but I love his design as a villain. And in every video game, he always has some of the coolest like skills or techniques that you can use with him. His sword is awesome, and he's just... I just really like the design around him, even though he has no character development. But he himself is just badass. So, what are your... And, you know, ones? Super's still a young series, and hopefully it goes on for a very long time. And Hopefully. Hopefully he has some character development in that. I, I, I think he's just a movie character. Oh shit, I wasn't listening to you said. Oh my god. Anyways, you're your honorable mention. Um, my honorable mentions were already mentioned, except for one, and the only reason he's even in there is because of his heart. Um, my first two were Cell and Broly. <laughs> Wait, who? Cell so, and who? Cell. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't listening to what you were saying. <laughs> hey, I don't blame you. Carry on. I'm not interested when you talk either. But my unique one is one I just came up with, up with on the fly. <laughs> because you already took mine. And that is Krillin. And it's, he has some of the fucking biggest balls I've ever seen. He really does. A little, little midget dude. He really does. 
And like they had a running joke that he's he dies like, all the time, but he does. And he's really strong too. <laughs> you really think about how strong Kerlin is compared to like a human being. He's he he's really strong. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's he's the strongest pure-blooded human on the planet, as far as I'm aware. Although I feel like Tien may have surpassed him. I felt like Tien, Tien may have surpassed than him, but also at the same but time, Tien might not be a human. I, no, Tien is a human. It's it's. There's a debate with that. There's a, a there's a debate with that though. That he's from what I well, I don't know. They got dinosaurs on the president of the goddamn cat, so you never really know. <laughs> Can we talk about the moment that everybody has been? <laughs> Number one. Oh, got me. great one. Hello, is your mic working? Because we still have number one to do. God damn it! Where where did he go? He disappeared again. Oh my god! He warned me at the beginning of the video that this guy was going to show up. This is just a imagination. That's not my problem. You guys have rattled on about absolutely nothing for like what seems like four hours straight. I mean, we have been talking about as long as it takes to charge a spirit bomb, I won't lie. I didn't realize you went through six episodes, but I guess yeah, it does seem not that long. It really does, especially when you mash that replay button. <laughs> what was that supposed to be a, a joke? It was funny, okay? YouTubers will understand I, I, the joke. I don't. I think that's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard before in my life. It was but, funny. I laughed. It, uh, yeah, you're the only one. Can we, can we, like, what, what, why are you here? I'm here to take over for Great One because he mysteriously disappeared. God, we've been over this before. No, this I, I actually had nothing to do with this. Right. So so what's your favorite Dragon Ball character disembodied voice? My favorite Dragon Ball character of all time is Make sure you subscribe and then watch the rest of my videos.